Hi guys, I hope that you're enjoying your day. So I'm just jumping in here to uh, do another reading. Today somebody sent me a gift and uh, thank you so much. Um, I went and purchased a, a new deck of cards with that gift. Uh, and so I wanted to do a reading um, with you all. <laughs> so anyway, if it's your birthday too, happy birthday. It's actually been a fantastic day today. I went and, and uh, out to eat and uh, had me some Mexican food and just kind of been out and about. I had some nice little conversation today. And anyway, it's just been a really nice day. Uh, Jehovah has really blessed me. So if you don't know who Jehovah is and this is the first time you've ever clicked on my video, I'm just really free spiritually. I do use living language and scripture in my readings because it can be found within the tarot if you didn't know that you know it now um but anyway i could come across really churchy and stuff like that but i'm not i'm just free spiritually uh you know i just i'm all about walking upright and being good to people and uh not being a thief and a liar and a cheat and all that crap and i, I do keep covenant with Jehovah and uh, keep the commandments and because i love him and he said if you love me you'll keep those commandments and i love him with all my heart, with all my strength, with all my soul. And he is an Elohim of war, and he teaches our hands how to war. And uh, so anyway, we must get up in the face of darkness and wickedness and shove it down to the pit of hell where it belongs. And so that's kind of who I am in a nutshell. And I feel the energy. It sometimes comes out real strong like that. So anyway, you've been warned. I get a lot of real sobering energy on my channel, so it is what it is. Uh, but welcome if you stay, and if not, uh, then welcome back. So anyway, uh, those of you who are um, did I just say welcome back? Yes, I did. <laughs> anyway, let's just go ahead and get started and see what's going on here uh, with this reading. <laughs> so I have an incense going, and so I'm not a smoker. If any of that smoke does come in the way of the camera, you will know what's going on here. Um, actually, give me just a second here, guys. Okay, I wanted to turn some jazz on while we were <clears throat> doing the video. So, I thank you, Yova, for this day and for every upright person. And I just ask that you would just chase them down with blessings. And you would honor them for honoring you. I just thank you for clear to find messages. I thank you, Yova, that you just bind, block, and rebuke every foul, demonic, wicked energy and force them right down and shove them to the pit of hell where they belong. What do we need to know and understand and what needs to be bypassed? What do we just need to look at so that we can gain some understanding and wisdom so that we can thrive at the highest degree by way of you and you only? I inquire at your hand and your hand alone, Jehovah. What do you want us to know? What's going on right now with this group of people that has clicked up on this? Thank you. Okay, so we have the King of Cups, and it looks like he's reading um, a book, studying. Um, I have not looked through this deck, so I'm learning it with you. So the King of Cups normally has a cup in his hand. He's very emotionally intelligent, and so, like I said, he is looking at a book, and uh, this could be um, a, a, somebody in the law, right? We also have uh, the Seven of Cups. So somebody has definitely got a consequence on some type of a choice, okay? We have the Seven of Swords. That's a lying, cheating, babbling piece of crap. And somebody's trying to get out and all of that. And somebody's studying something, then they are, if they're trying to escape something. We have the Moon. That's deep deception, people coming out here and then we have the queen of pentacles showing up and um incredible what's actually coming out here so we got deep deception and somebody's trying to make a, a choice here i guess it looks like and they've been studying or going within trying to connect with their intuition we have a king and a queen here what's at the bottom of the deck is the uh justice the law is here and we've seen justice uh on my last video that I just did. So this is overall energy is the truth about something. Show me this uh, moon and the seven of swords with the consequence of the choice. 
So obviously, if, if these two people are, are working together, if it's a couple, I'm not sure. Uh, there's, some, there's some type of strategy here. Somebody really confused, got many options. What do we do? But there's definitely something go, going down. I mean, this person is trying to trying to get away. It's got it's got a bag there as well. So if this is uh, the, obviously it's thievery for something. Okay, whether it's emotional, physical, spiritual, something's been stolen. Um, and we got the truth about it here with the law. The Queen of Pentacles in the negative, she's stubborn, she's greedy, she's full of freaking witchcraft. And if that's the occult with the King of Cups, um, then that's what it's showing. But that could be FBI. If this Queen of if this Queen of Pentacles is being investigated or vice versa, you can flip those if you need to. Something could be going down at night. Whatever the choice is, there's a consequence here, people. There is a consequence. I was seeing that yesterday. What is the moon and the choices and the seven of swords, please, Jehovah? Because the law is here and there's something very clear, regardless if the moon's here or not. We've got the mother, something going on with the mother and children. And actually, the queen of pentacles, she's got her hand on her belly down here. What is this? What is this, Jehovah? Show me the Queen of Pentacles first. Show me this Queen of Pentacles. What's the energy of this Queen of Pentacles that you're bringing out here, please? What do we need to know about it? Like there's thievery here. Something very much emotional. So the, uh, the Page of Pentacles is here. Fishing for stuff. This little... Um, Paige has a uh, little pentacle that they've been fishing for. This is a message. Some type of message with this um, with this queen of pentacles. There's a, the high priestess. We've got a lot of moon-like energies. Somebody really is trying to tap into their intuition because there's confusion here. My God, if I do this, there is a big consequence here, people. There's a consequence. If somebody thinks they're going to jump out of a window, try to get away, and there's messages here on this Queen of Pentacles, or this Queen of Pentacles is given some type of message of knowledge, of knowing some type of thievery or some type of situation that's taken place. If that's passed, then the law is here. There's emotional, intelligent energy on something here. Okay, show me another one. Give me one on this page of Pentacles. So we got children involved, if, or teenagers, for some of you all. Some of you all, that's just a message. That's somebody who's good with their hands. The Ace of Cups, love situations, and the star came out together. Um, that's conception of something, something very much emotional here. And something's guided um, with the star. We got nighttime stuff showing up out here. The moon came out real big, and the star is here. Somebody knows something about a message in love situations or a conception. There's the Ace of Pentacles, so we've got two, two Aces here that just showed itself to me. Knowledge about some type of a guided relationship. Or if this bitterness and somebody strategizing something here, how to get away. There's just a big consequence here. Show me this King of Cups. Somebody's in love somewhere. If it's in the upright, some, something just very much emotional around some type of strategy and lies or something contractual is here. Well, we have the Eight of uh, Wands, which is somebody grabbing a message here from the window. And then we got somebody, what, when the message comes, it's time to go? Is that what it is? I don't know. Uh, possibly, maybe for some people. But we've got messages coming in real quick. This is Cupid's arrows. Something's very much, if that's romance, that's romance for some people. Uh, the lovers is here. Well, there's a decision, two decision cards. There's somebody growing old with somebody here. Show me the moon. Obviously, we got two message cards and something going down in the evening and somebody strategizing here. You know, we've been seeing for a while somebody been trying this travel energy with the Eight of Wands. 
on this King of Cups. And that's a travel energy as well to follow the star. And something's exposed here, even though the nighttime's here. Show me the moon. Show me this moon, please, Jehovah. What do we need to know about this moon? The high priest is here. Well, we, the high priestess was at the bottom of the deck a second ago. That'd be a high volume spiritual match. Um, this is spiritual leaders that it could be. But there's consequence on something here because we got law over the top of something. There's clarity here. Unless somebody's being biased. I mean, we do have strategizing here and lies. Uh, hopefully the law's not mixed up in that. But we do have the Nine of Cups. You're either dealing with a narcissist or somebody's going to get a wish fulfillment. There's a bunch of people standing around celebrating here. And um, it looks like a wedding um, celebration of some kind in the picture there. But that is a wish fulfillment, or it's a narcissist, or somebody getting together and having a good time. This is morals and ethics, but that goes back to society as well. We've got a bunch of people showing up in the picture here. Uh, and this is um, weddings. There was a secret marriage in the secret place today. Is somebody strategizing how to run off and go get married or something like that? Or the, maybe that's what's showing. I'm not sure. This is hospitals and, and doctors and, like I said, we know it's society. It's your morals. It's your ethics. It's something spiritual here. If that's a wish fulfillment and somebody's got a wish to run off and go get married possibly, but there's some type of... Uh, there's the king of rods coming out here. That's the other man. It just jumped out on the law. And then the nine of pentacles. The nine of pentacles is somebody who is, has high discernment. She's sitting by a, a wishing well. So this king of rods just jumped out here. And so it, it, we've got two kings and a, and a queen. And we got marriages. And something's being strategized and there's messages going on and travel here people there's an ace of pentacles again as well um you know i had stated not long ago that somebody could have buried something in the ground that was worth some type of money or contract and this is showing just that this is a shovel and there's pentacles in the ground here where these contracts are if that's you know if that's some physical that's some physical i mean obviously the ace of pentacles represents um the physical world or again contracts things like that um maybe there was a death here show me this king of rods you know i was clarifying this hierophant it jumped out on the um Justice, which the Hierophant and the Justice card together, we know, would be the Empress energies, which she would still have the Justice within her. Something here with law or projects or contracts, something is dreamy here in the night with all these cups, but there's confusion, people. Whatever you're fixing to do, if you're going to go run off. Um, you know, it's funny because today, and this isn't going to be for everybody, but I heard a bigamist today in my spirit um, but be careful. Somebody might have more uh, than one partner than what you think. That ain't going to be for everybody. But I did hear that word today. Um, maybe that's past energy. I don't know. Maybe it's somebody who works for the law that is the other man. Show me this king of rods. Show me this king of rods. Something just went flying. Ah. We've got the Knight of Rods. Okay, well, if this is a player, then this is a player. There's a lot of people showing up, but we are clarifying the King of Rods. This is fast-moving departure energy um, in and out stuff going on. At the same time, you guys know me as a reader. I'm still taking for, for all the cards as, as a whole as well for other marriage okay other marriages that I guess somebody's somebody's involved with somebody who's I, I, again I just kept hearing bigamist here <laughs> maybe somebody got caught I'm not sure somebody tried to get away 
somebody's been foolish. There's the fool. They're trying to get a clean slate. We know about the fool. This is departure, though. This is fast move. This is moving house card as well. <laughs> Show me the seven of cups. Well, the devil is here, and then the lovers is here, and the eight of pentacles work, and then the page of cups, which is a message, and then the nine of rods also came out, which is uh, a wounded warrior is here. Well, there's, there's consequences of whatever this um, many options are for somebody with this message. Somebody going to get a message here. This is, you know, the Page of Cups. That's the same energy here that's showing up with the Seven of Cups. It's a surprise. It's an announcement of something. If this Nine of Rods or Wands is, is an um, ending to something, then it will end something because there's some type of consequence here. Somebody's standing here trying to figure out how to work on something with the Eight of Pentacles or this is somebody that you work with or this is law <laughs> strategizing something here. For some people, because again, here is the lover's card. Uh, it is a lover situation. It's also somebody supposed to be in somebody's life for some of you all, but the devil's here. Um, sex, drugs, and rock and roll. There's all kinds of people showing up here, and there's children here as well. There's strategy here. <laughs> oh my God, it's like a big freaking soap opera. Huh? Show me, show me the seven of swords. The devil's around, people. The devil's around. These choices. Yeah, there, look, people. The the ten of swords is here. On the lie, on the deception, on the seven of swords. That's huge. That's that's huge. That 17 swords, which will make eight swords, which would be jail. There's a consequence here. You better yell lie because the devil's here. Whatever you think you're fixing to, to go do in the night, there's some type of death issue here on somebody. Or something's going to die. This is backstabbing crap. Okay, not everybody's a murderer, but uh, could be the devil's here. He likes to steal, kill, and destroy. It's somebody that's working on something. I see a hammer here. Um, that, that doesn't have to mean anything, but I do see a hammer here. You work with tools or that's, uh, masonry stuff that we talk about all the time. Well, this is interesting what's come out here on this reading. Something's backstabbing here in a very big way. There's the empress. There's the empress. She's not a very pretty empress in this, <laughs> in this deck. Um... Unless you're ready to pop with the baby. There's the Ten of Cups. Something's very much emotional here. <laughs> Let me just um, grab one of these cards and we'll just call it a reading. So take these energies as you must. Somebody strategizing something for something around love. But there's a player energy and there's law here and there's backstabbing crap. And there could be, you know, somebody who is um, got more than one spouse somewhere. There's the Dalit. Well, there's the, there's the, um, the Emperor energy. That's war energy, people. <laughs> we got the lower version of the Emperor here with the King of Wands. If he's in the upright, he'll get up and do the right thing. It says, "My soul cleaveth unto the dust. Quicken me." According to thy word, I have declared my ways, and thou heard, my, heard me. Teach me thy statutes, and make me to understand the way of thy precepts. So shall I talk of thy wondrous works. My soul melteth for heaviness. Strengthen thou me according to thy word. Remove from me the way of lying. Well, we have the lying, backstabbing crap right here. And the moon's deception. And the devil's freaking here. So something, somebody's in some deep crap. Uh, remove from me the way of lying and grant me thy law. And we have the law here. <laughs> Graciously. 
and I have that I, I have chosen the way of truth. Well, that's good. If you're going to get out of this crap and send a message and say, I don't want any of that because it's backstabbing, then that's positive. Make your way straight by doing the, the truth. If you, anybody has information on what's going on here, you, there's consequences for somebody, for somebody. If you ain't going to go in the true laws of the divine, okay? Because the divine's judgments are the ones that are going to lead you forth, okay? It says, I have, I have stuck unto thy testimonies, O Jehovah, put me not to shame. And he won't if you do the right thing. I will run the way of thy commandments when thou shalt enlarge my heart. Okay, well, this is what come out here. Uh, obviously, something going down in the evening time or somebody's been strategizing so or something like that, uh, trying to get away with something or you're going to make your path straight. It's really up to you. Okay? This is this is the energy around somebody. Stop being a freaking player. Do the th right thing. Choose upright stuff and let the divine make a way where there seems to be no way. Because that's the only way to live, people. It's the only way to live. <laughs> Sorry, my phone went the other way. Um, so anyway, good luck to you. Shalom.